everything inside me. Nothing in the world is at its seams. The world of science is no exception. Some of the most hallowed theories or tenets held dogmatically in science by those high priests in the Church of Scientism with their somewhat challengeable nebulous ideas, have been unjustly taken and put into the limelight of recognition through corporate banker sponsorship. This flawed scientific disinformation has been deliberately promoted made into mainstream science for control and financial gain. The powers that be and their business monopolies continue to flourish with pseudoscience that should have been long gone from the limelight by now and dismissed as false. Much natural based true alternative science and its pioneers have been prevented from gaining the recognition they deserve through suppression from the powers that be so that the status quo still remains. Their business monopolies continue unthreatened by undercutting from those alternatives. Yes, money is stronger than truth. If the applications of certain alternative science and technology had got the humanitarian recognition it deserved, then, its far greater cost-effectiveness and efficiency would have taken over and set the whole world free. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. A number of alternative natural-based physicists with their potential humanity transforming science and technology have been disavowed by the scientific community. The world of physics has brought us a religious cult of personalities with questionable and quirky ideas instead. In short, they're not as clever as they've been made out to be. They have been put into the Hall of Fame to act as pillars of disinformation care of corporate banker-sponsored dogma. Albert Einstein is one of the main constructs used to serve the above purpose. For example, relativity has been proven wrong on a number of occasions. Even the likes of the New York Times and Time magazine have picked up on this. In fact, relativity was disproven before its publication, yet Einstein still remains one of science's sacred saints. Other main constructs serving as pillars of disinformation and corporate banker-sponsored dogma include the highly praised and much lauded Stephen Hawking and Michio Kaku. While these scientists hog the limelight, a number of physicists wanting to transform humanity with their brilliant ideas and true physics have been left destitute in the wilderness. However, there are a growing number of scientists with intentions to liberate physics from the confines of corporate banker-sponsored pseudoscience to free humanity. The late great scientist and inventor, Nikola Tesla, learned what it was like to go against the wishes of the powers that be and the scientific establishment with their suppression of alternative technology. Tesla was up against the wishes of the central banking dynasties owned and controlled by energy barons J.P. Morgan, N.M. Rothschild and J.D. Rockefeller. Tesla with his alternative independent free energy technology threatened to seriously undercut their conventional systems with a loss of control over the people. Tesla's work included supplying unlimited energy everywhere, wireless or no batteries needed electricity, power transmission through radio and phones lasting up to a hundred times longer than today's standards, and also an early warning earthquake detection system. Attempting to bring these technologies into view, Tesla was met with having his labs raided, destroyed, equipment seized and intellectual property either burnt or confiscated. It's worth noting that even today some of the intellectual property has been withheld in Tesla societies, showing the extent to which those shadowy men and black agents of suppression for the powers that be will go. They infiltrate certain groups such like the Tesla societies, to prevent its humanitarian benefit from getting out to the world at large, or, having infiltrated, they turn these societies into disinformation setups. Let's take a look at some of the many lost inventions by Tesla. 
Tesla's UFO, anti-gravity technology. We know that Tesla was all about free energy and alternative power sources. Actually, it wasn't unidentified. Despite this, the methods and design of Tesla's revolutionary vehicle is believed to match the description of people who witness disc-shaped flying objects, or UFOs. It is believed that Tesla's UFO had eyes made of electro-optical lenses, arranged in quadrants, allowing the pilot to see everything. Screens and monitors are placed on a console where the browser can observe all areas around the vehicle, and Tesla's incredible invention included magnifying lenses, which could have been used without changing positions free energy, and wireless electricity. With the help of funding from JP Morgan, Tesla successfully built and tested the famous Wardenclyffe Tower. The structure was a massive wireless energy transmission station, which, according to Tesla, had the ability to transmit wireless power across great distances. Tesla saw the Wardenclyffe Tower as the beginning of a massive free energy project. Tesla wanted to use the tower, not only to transmit free energy, but to send out messages, telephone calls, across the Earth. Tesla's Futuristic Aircraft In addition to creating devices that could potentially be used as weapons, and structures that could offer free energy to the world, Nikola Tesla also worked on electrically powered airships that, according to reports, could transport passengers from New York to London in three hours. These aircraft were not ordinary vehicles. They were supposedly able to harness energy right from Earth's atmosphere, and had no need ever to stop and refuel. But why have aircraft that makes use of free energy, if billions can be made by selling it? Drones in 1898 More than a hundred years ago, Tesla invented drones. So, everyone who thinks that drones are actually a product of recent technologies, you are wrong. It was called Tesla's Teleautomaton. And the funny part is, that the government had this technology in their possession for over a hundred years. This raises a number of questions. Is it possible that they adopted, further developed, and used drones more than half a decade ago? Sure, science needs to go beyond those self-inflicted boundaries, but it needs open-minded active individuals willing to challenge the orthodoxy and expose the pseudoscience with its ties to the establishment. Consider the possibility of what could be if we keep on with this, standing for the possibility of bringing down the establishment pseudoscience, and then usher in a new paradigm approach. Some modern-day scientists trying to bring Tesla's work into being for the betterment of humanity have had a hard time, not only with the establishment, but also with the public, calling them snake oil salesmen, or even fraudsters, while others such as the likes of scientist Jim Murray have been considered at least by some as legit. Whatever the situation, while we're discerning, let's encourage those scientists who have courageously taken the alternative view. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video.